Good morning, Best Friend Books community. Hope you're looking forward to a great week this week. I was reminded by a friend over the weekend um, that we may need to remind some folks of a series that we have, uh, kind of a sub-series of the Best Friend Books um, brand for specifically developed for infants and toddlers. Uh, a friend over the weekend asked, do you have anything that would be good to gift to someone as a baby shower present? for infants in terms of our books. And so I was wanted to remind everyone of our Little Buddies series. The first set of books in our Little Buddies series is all about self-awareness, body awareness. So we have feet, mouths, eyes, hands, noses, and ears. And some people may be saying, well, what does that have to do with um, kind of the focus of our brand, which is social emotional development? It has everything to do with it because good social emotional growth begins with good self-awareness. And for little ones, that really begins with even as foundational things as being able to identify your body parts. But I love these the series because it not only um, brings attention to teaching those body parts, but it also helps start the conversation about same and different, which is really a foundational concept in social emotional growth, being able to identify that there are things we all have in common and also things that are different about each of us that make us unique. And so these books, the, illustrations are amazing. Pam outdid herself with these. They're so much fun because we really talked and decided that for little ones, we wanted the illustrations to be simple and focused just on the body part that we were going to be talking about. And we wanted the books to follow a theme so that it has a, a rhythm that's recognizable to children because we know that that helps rhythm and rhyme, helps kids remember concepts, it also makes it really fun. And um, they all end the same way as well. So I'm going to share one of the books today so you can get the idea. And I think you'll agree that this set would be a wonderful gift for anybody as a shower present or as a first birthday present or anything like that. So this, the one I'm going to focus on is feet just because this is my personal favorite in the series. I just love it. Feet. Duck feet splashing in puddles. Turtle feet digging the sand. Ant feet crawling up grass blades. Farmer feet walking the land. Cat feet scratching the sofa. Monkey feet climbing a tree. Pony feet trotting through meadows. Dog feet scratching a flea. Lizard feet sticking to windows. Rabbit feet hopping away. Chicken feet scratching the barnyard. What did your feet do today? <laughs> so each of the books uh, follows the same rhythm and rhyme pattern and then always ends with the same question. What did your mouth do today? What did your, oh, let me get to it. What did your eyes see today? So each of the books ends with that question about what did your body part do today? What did your hands do today? What did your feet do today? What did your eyes see today? What did your ears hear today? So not only is it bringing uh, awareness and conversation to the different body parts, but it's also asking the child how they are alike and different than all those different creatures and also bringing awareness to what their body part does to help them interact with the world. So hopefully it's starting that conversation at the end of the book about what did we do today with our eyes? What did we see with our eyes? What did we hear with our ears today? What did we do with our hands? Did we finger paint? Did you help mommy make cookies? Did um, 
Did you pet the dog? What kinds of things did you do with that body part? So um, while it may seem simple, those are very important conversations to have with little ones to really start building a foundation from which they can know and appreciate themselves. Also recognize how they are alike and different from others, build appreciation for the world around them, and also start that conversation about how they interact with the world. So if you're looking for a great little gift for someone's first birthday or second birthday, or maybe a shower gift for someone you know who's about to have a baby, this is a great option. You can find them at bestfriendbooks.com or you can search Lisa Combs or Pam Frazier on Amazon to find all of our books. Thanks and have a peaceful, happy day.